ads. Ads are everywhere in Windows 11. You can even find them on the File Explorer. So on this video, I'm going to show you how to disable all of the ads on Windows 11. For this first step, let's disable the ads in the File Explorer. You can open the File Explorer by clicking into the folder right here into the tab. Now, when you are here, you want to click into these three dots right here and you want to open the options. When this small menu opens right here, you want to go into View and scroll down until you see this right here, Show Sync Provider Notifications. You want to set this check mark into Disable, then click into Apply and OK. Now you can close the File Explorer and let's go on. For the next steps, you want to open the Settings menu in Windows 11. You can do it in two ways. You can right click into the Start button and click right here into Settings, or you can press the Windows plus I key. The first thing that we're going to do is to disable the ads on the lock screen. For that, you want to go into Personalization. Inside of here, you want to select Lock Screen. Now, in here, if you have the option of Windows Spotlight, you are not going to see this, so you want to change this to Picture. And right here, you want to uncheck the mark where you see Get Fun Facts, Tips, Tricks, and more on your lock screen. So uncheck this mark and you are set to go right here. Now I'm going to show you how to disable some tips of Windows features. Now on the left side, you want to click where you see System. And on the right side, you want to open the submenu of Notifications. And scroll down until you see these three options right here. Show me the Windows Welcome Experience Updates. And uncheck it. Offer suggestions how can I set up my device. And get tips and suggestions when I use Windows uncheck all of these three marks right here. Now let's disable the suggestions in the Windows Settings app. On the left side, you want to click into Privacy and Security. And here on the right side, you want to go into the General section. Now in here, you want to disable the Let's App Show Me Personalized Ads by using my advertising ID. If you don't want to give your advertising ID to everybody, you want to disable this one. The website show me locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Also disable that as well. Let Windows improve start and search result by tracking app launches. This is optional as up to you. And this is the important one. Show me suggested content in the settings app. Turn this into off. Now let's disable the tailored experiences into the diagnostics data. Go once back and still into privacy and security. Click into the diagnostic and feedback. In here, you want to click into the tailored experience and you want to select this into off. Now you can close the settings menu and I'm going to show you one more tip that you guys have to do. And this is how to disable the automatic installation of applications and software to Windows 11. To make that, we're going to modify a little bit the registry on Windows 11. For that, you want to type the Windows plus the R key. And when this small round window open, you want to type on it, record it. Inside of here, you want to navigate to H key current user and expand that menu, go into software, Go where you see Microsoft and span that as well. Scroll down until you see Windows. Go inside of current version and search for Content Delivery Manager. Click on it. Now, you can see right here, you have a 32-bit D word that is named Silent Installed Apps Enabled. Double click into it and right here, make sure that you are into hexadecimal and you want to change the value data from one to zero. Click into OK. Now, this tweak you're going to have to do into every user account that you have in your PC. So if you are sharing it with a family or friends, you are going to need to do that for every person that can access to that computer. Now, to the changes to make effect, you will need to restart your computer. When you have restarted your system, now Microsoft is not able to install apps on the background without you knowing about it. Now, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to drop a like and a subscriber is more than welcome. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.